One of the great options for a touchscreen Chromebook is the capability of utilizing Screencastify because it has drawing tools built directly into it. And there are lots of different screen recorders out there, but I personally like this one quite a bit just because of the ease of use, especially after you have your video and it automatically uploads to Google Drive. It's fantastic. Let's take a look at the drawing tools. I'm going to click on, you can do this in browser tab or desktop. If I click on show more options, uh, it should have show drawing tools. Same for browser tab. This may have to be enabled, so make sure that you enable drawing tools. You'll see a feature button on there that would indicate that you need to enable those if need be. So I'm going to start to record. It's going to ask me which screen, and I could choose an application or my entire screen. It'll do three, two, one, just like so. And then what's nice about it is down here at the bottom are these tools. Now, I believe that these tools can be turned on and off using a keyboard command. And I believe if I shut it off like so, it'll say Alt-T. So I'm going to have to actually flip my screen back around. Give me a second. And I'm going to hold down Alt and hit T and bring back my tools. I'm going to flip my screen back again because I'm kind of doing this in tablet mode, or at least trying to. And so this would allow me to be able to draw. Here's some drawing tools. This would allow me to draw and be able to mark directly on the screen. And as you can see, there's an up and down arrow. If I flip my screen back again, that's not super convenient. I wish there was a way that you could do it from the buttons itself. But when I hit the arrows up and down, it allows me to change and adjust the size of the text itself. So that's nice to know. When I click on the pen again, I can choose my color like this. And that allows me to smoothly draw on the screen and pick which color I want it to be. I have an eraser tool here. And so when I start erasing, then it allows me to erase all that. But if I want a quick way to clean it, when I hit the eraser tool right there is a box and it'll clear the entire screen. Um, from here, I can turn on the webcam if I would like to, and I can turn that off at any time too. And there's also a timer. These are all within these pen tools that are at the bottom. And what I really like is the capability to pause it. And so I can hit the pause button. It pauses recording. And this is a nice scenario if I'm wanting to maybe set up a problem or set up a situation. Let's say I'm wanting to show students how to do 35 plus 68 or 38 plus 68. Sorry, couldn't even read what I wrote there. And then you could then hit the play button again so it starts recording and then go ahead and work out the problem and explain to students what's going on there. So that way, uh, you're not spending the time writing the problem and they are sitting there watching you write out the problem. They could see the problem. You go directly into the explanation and pause that at any time. All right. And so then if I accidentally lose those tools again, hit the X, you can hit Alt T to bring them back at any time. And then what's also nice is I like to be able to just pause it. And then when I pause it and I want to stop the recording altogether, I can press on the end recording button there, or you can hit Alt Shift R and that'll also shut it off. Or you can go up here into the extension itself and shut it off from there. But as soon as I press on this, it will shut down the recording and I am finished.